I'm Jake Bruton and today on The Build Show we're still in Virginia Beach and we're talking with Rick Mills again of Jackson Andrews Building and Design and right now we're going to talk about water management and air management and basically the three things that we see here. Yep. So let's start at the top where the water's going to start and work our way down. So what are we looking at here, Rick? So we've got our, our zip bar wall sheeting, which will be our air control layer for the framing on the house. And then we're stepping down to poly walls system, which is their Arroyo drain board. And as we were progressing, we were kind of uh, trying to figure out how we wanted to mesh the two. How the two connect. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the, the zip bar, this is insulated. It's got poly iso foam on the back and it's one inch of yeah, foam. one inch. So we're sticking out an inch further than typical yep. machines. So you're proud. Mm -hmm. uh, and then this is your air and water barrier. Mm -hmm. Now, all the seams are taped. You guys aren't going to bother treating any nail heads unless they're overdriven, right? right? It's just taping the seams like Huber says. Yep. And so then the water comes down and then we have to detail from here to the foundation. Yeah. And we'll have what here? This connection will look like what? Yeah, so to, to back up a little, we've, we, we had the drain board on first and just knowing the duration and how things have taken out here, we were noticing just sawdust and stuff getting behind it and just started so the top to, of this dimple mat was open yeah just starting to you know it's you know boards can slip across things happen it's, it's yep. feeling a little and, and, and do we really want that to be you know how do we transition to that are we, are we going to try to tape to that I mean, it's, it's it's fabric here so just talking with the guys which is i think it's one of the cool things about what we do is you, you know there's an issue you got to try to figure out what's the best solution and one of the guys said hey what about some trim foil so we literally one of the guys had a break Ordered some black trim it. coil, yep, bent it up, and then tape, we zip tape that on top of the poly wall. So this is taped to the top of your foundation, yep. and then that stops any air from coming from here yeah, anything to, get, that could even to get underneath yeah. the foundation. Mm -hmm. And then you're open between here and the, the sheathing, and by taping from the sheathing down onto the face of this, you've now sealed the top and the bottom, Yeah. and Working. your air control layer now goes all the way down yeah and then your water control layer is all surface exactly and i think i think what we're going to try that might end up being easier trying to get the tape to because uh, i thought about like oh do we just try to tape this just make a very small like z bend right here tape that on here and then leave enough exposure where that tape you know adheres well to the metal okay so maybe you're doing another piece of yeah. metal here very similar that then that. turns down that you can connect yeah that's a slick detail. And so then all of this is protected. And we were talking about this yesterday when we were installing this product and talking about, you know, we want to go ahead and tape these seams now so that we don't have to clean dust and debris that's come off the ground off of them. Exactly. But we were talking about leaving this open until the house is dried in so that if anything wants to run down the edge of the rim board that, you know, rain that gets in there until there's a roof on, it's not sealed in and then just yeah, sitting there causing be, problems. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a good bit of moisture buildup in there. I think there's a lot of detail and thought that went into this wall. I really think that this is a bomb proof assembly. We've got a drainage mat, we got good connections, and we got good reliable products that we're tying all together. And we've really problem solved anything that we think can come up here. So yeah. check these guys out on Instagram. Thanks again for watching. I'm Jake Bruton on The Build Show.